good. Good. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Creepy Coughing Conversation. My name is Brett. I'm Kelly. Together, we are the Love Bats in the Belfry. Franco's usually in videos, but he's just kind of chilling over there. And this is our, this isn't our usual spot that we do videos, um, but we're just in our, our kitchen. And so the type of video we're going to do today, um, we're going to do a Halloween haul, but first we want to just kind of have a, a type of Halloween discussion. Um, it seems as of, at least maybe for me, the past couple years, just my personal observation, it seems like the fandom of Halloween has dramatically increased. Definitely agree. And so the topic of conversation is, do you think that Halloween, the Halloween fandom is competing with Christmas? It's taking over. We're all taking over. <laughs> and I mean, as far as Halloween goes, it is meant for kids, obviously, with trick-or-treating. Adults can't go trick-or-treating. But me personally, I really like just handing out candy mm -hmm. and seeing all kids in the costumes and, you know, like the past two years we dressed up while handing out candy. So much fun. That's yeah. the first time I've ever handed out candy was with you. That's, that's I find that's really strange. But that's because I've dressed up and walked with my niece, like went out with my niece. I can, um, I can understand that. Yeah. So that was really fun too, because I still got to see everybody. Um, and then, you know, she wouldn't last that long. So then we would get back to my sister's house and we would pass out. A little bit of candy oh, but I okay. never like had the full experience of like it's the like, whole wave yeah. of like your whole neighbor like cause he lives in a really nice neighborhood or his parents do yeah so tons of homes. tons of families and people who don't even live in the neighborhood come yeah to my parents neighborhood because it's it's that. like a huge um, suburb suburban area mm -hmm. and so yeah I mean now we live in a house together so um, and our current neighborhood is under construction still. I think by Halloween this year, I would say that, because there's a, another like suburban neighborhood connected to ours that's, mm -hmm. you know, well completed. And then... We're just kind of like an extension of a well-established neighborhood. Yeah, so they're gonna, like, they already opened it up to where both neighborhoods connect, but ours is like, there's still a ton of construction going mm -hmm. on, and there's still houses being built, but... So we live on a construction site, basically, but... I'm still banking on it, that we're going to have trick or Yeah, I'm hoping that, you know, we can actually pass out candy in our home, you know, if, outside our own home. If not, we're screwed, because if the candy's here, it's going to be eaten. By just us. Yeah, so... That's a, and that's a boring Halloween. We're beginning to decorate outside so that people know we're here. Mm-hmm. And they need to come and get candy from us. Yeah. And we live next to a model home. And Oh my god. It's <laughs> you you think at this point people are like, hey, you know, it's Halloween. They they're just big fans of Halloween, but how people are I feel like it would scare them off. But that's besides the point and I guess we're getting a little sidetracked. We with are, that. yeah. But I mean, anyways, I mean, I guess we contribute to the whole Halloween fandom rising, mm -hmm. but maybe it's because we're heavily involved in just the fandom of Halloween and me, I guess me being a big horror movie fan, like, and on Instagram, we follow a lot of like Halloween type pages and people yeah. who post that stuff pretty much year round, yes. but it just seems like it has increased and like... I mean, there's stores, like, at home um, that will have, like, the holiday stuff out year-round. Mm -hmm. I mean, including Christmas. Oh, yeah. That's acceptable. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, but, seriously, though. Like, cr Christmas has always been acceptable to be out year-round. Because, like, it's known to have these huge fans that, like, Thanksgiving's over, that night they're decorating. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong but with that either. I think that Halloween is like slowly turning into that. Yeah, where the fa the fandom's rising because yeah, and a lot of people like who really like the fall time Halloween. Like, I mean, there's memes like there was like that one Office meme where it was like, it's like August is, it's like 
August, it, it's still August, it's not Halloween yet. It was like, well, August also kind of goes with autumn. Like, the words kind of sound similar. And it's just like, no, that's not the point. And then it shows a picture of, like, Dwight with the pumpkin on his head. Oh, yeah. And I know what you're I feel like every year, the decor starts coming out a little bit earlier. Like, last year, I, thought, yeah. I thought it was, like, so early that it was coming out in, like, July. Like, end of July. This year, it was June. Yeah, yeah, I heard some people were like, yeah, I mean, at, at least... At home, our video... Yeah, like, yeah, at home, it was, you know, June when we yes. when we went there, and they already had, you know, Halloween stuff being put out and such. Not everything, but, like, but a really good amount. A, yeah, a fair amount, and, um, yeah, like, Michael's, we went to Michael's to buy the Halloween tree, which is a short video we put on the I channel. I love that thing. Yeah, and we're glad we grabbed it because it's the... I've been reading those things are really hard to find. Sold out like everywhere. Yeah, and it's like Michaels had just started putting out Halloween stuff. What was it? We thought it was like fall stuff mm -hmm. and we saw the Halloween tree there and then we walked a couple aisles like backward and then we're like, oh no, they do have Halloween stuff mm -hmm. out. This is crazy. They pushed it back a little bit further in our Michaels. It used to be like you walked in and it was right there. Now it's like in the middle of the store. Yeah. But um, there's tons of aisles. I mean, Michaels always kills it. But anyway. I, th I think they do, too. They are generally have, like, the best type of decorations for the holiday. Somehow I haven't bought anything from there this year. But, like, I'm obsessed with their vintage line that they have going on. Like, obviously it's all new stuff, but it's made to look like vintage Halloween decor. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's so that's, good. That's the good stuff. But, like, yeah, I feel like back then... You know, most like, I guess like Walmart type stores. It's mm -hmm. like you had like a few like very generic, basic type design mm -hmm. decor for Halloween time, and that was it. Even Walmart this year has like these little figurines that are like um, a witch, a cat, a skull, and a pumpkin head man, and they're all like made to look vintage. But you made me think of something. Neat. So like Walmart and Dollar Tree have their Halloween stuff out, but at the same time, they're all, like, this is the first time I've ever experienced this. Mm -hmm. The Halloween stuff has been out for, like, let's say a month and a half, two months, and, like, people are already buying all of it, and so now they're putting out Christmas stuff, and the Halloween stuff is, like, almost gone. You it's not even October. Yeah, you make a really good point of that, actually. Um, this was years ago, but I, like, worked for, um... I worked at a gas station that was mm -hmm. like, you know, one of those like generic gas, like chain gas stations. And I remember like working as a cashier yeah. and they, I think it was like in like the first week of September, they had like the, the Reese's pumpkins come out and like, we just put them at the front and because of impulse buy and like, they went so fast. They sent us like a good amount of them and they sold out so quickly that literally by october they sent us the the christmas tree like reese's they're not the same okay yeah they're not they're not the, not yeah i feel like the the halloween ones aren't that they just feel a lot more peanut buttery yes and yeah, maybe i'm wrong because i haven't had the tree one in a long time i'm wondering if they ran out so quickly because you were sneaking them possibly <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding but yeah, like, that's a good example is, like, it just seems like they're putting this stuff out earlier and earlier. And on, you know, the other side, when it comes to Christmas, you know, a lot of people were complaining that Christmas has been, you know, put out, like, earlier and earlier every year. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's getting to the point where now, like, with Halloween stuff coming out even earlier, that they're like, should we wait on the Christmas stuff? Because I don't know, because it's like people just, the last few years, people seem to really love you know, Halloween. And I just, I'm wondering why, like, I mean, obviously I'm not complaining, but like, I'm not I just feel like these Halloween fans like came out of the woodwork, like I think all of a sudden it's just like cool to like Halloween. Yeah. Maybe it was just generally feels more accept acceptable or, you know, maybe it's just, that's a good point for some people. I mean, I hate to say this, but maybe it's just a trend to pe for people to hop on because Maybe, you know, like a it's year. it's cool to be spooky. Yeah, it's cool to be spooky. I mean, and then, is. you know, yeah, one or two years down the road, then they're like, eh, I'm not crazy that, 
that crazy about Halloween mm -hmm. as much, you know. But yeah, I mean, I I feel like because of, I guess you know people being all more decked out for that holiday that they feel like it's acceptable to really love Halloween and yeah. Uh, generally, I was kind of I guess a little bit, you know, in the I guess in the closet about like how much I love horror and weird stuff all the time. But now it's just like But then you jumped out and you were like, boom up. Yeah, it's it's like I met this lovely lady mm -hmm. and yeah, I met this lovely lady and now it's like I shouldn't have to apologize for things that I like. Mm -hmm. So I don't know maybe that's just people were just like, you know what, I I guess finally realizing just like, you know what, I shouldn't be ashamed for stuff I like. Mm -hmm. People at work um, we're trying to do the like boo, you know, like you boo your office mates or whatever. Yeah, you've been Meaning booed. you like leave a little bag of goodies or like give them like decor or just something fun that's like a little spooky. Last year, nobody did it. And everybody looked at me this year and they were like, Are you going to start it? Because we, no one else wants to start yeah, it. So no you have to, to take care it. of it. And I'm like, I mean, I'm fine with that. But. Mm -hmm. I just think it's fun. like everyone. I I can't hide it. Everybody knows. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, when I when I'm at work, a lot of people just know I I into the weird and creepy stuff, and it's it's funny. Anytime someone even sees anything remotely scary or <laughs> creepy, they it's, immediately tell me about it. They're like tagging us on Facebook. Yeah, people just tag us. You're like, look at this. This is creepy. This is up your alley, and and like sometimes I think it's cool because it's not even people that like we talk to or really know that well and they're like made me think of you and i'm like oh yeah like well, that's this, sweet didn't we weren't really tagged on something the other day that someone was like there was an article saying that you could make money by thirteen hundred dollars or something thirteen hundred dollars if you binged all of stephen king's the all the stephen king movies in like what was it by a certain date or mm -hmm. something and yeah, someone tagged us in that. It's like, this would be perfect for you guys. Yeah. And yeah. It's like, yeah, I guess that's true. Mm-hmm. But I I personally have no complaints for, the, like, you know, the Halloween fandom no. rising. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly thrilled that people actually embrace this holiday. And it's becoming more and more popular to like spooky stuff. Mm -hmm. My only thing that is, like, why people only think it's acceptable a certain time of year because it's like you know around this season everyone's like oh you know it's the halloween season let's go see a scary movie but you ask them you know any other time mm -hmm. like it's march or june you're like hey you want to go see that new scary movie oh no oh, i don't want to see no. that i want nothing to do with that yeah but you ask them in october they're like oh that'd be fun yeah i, I, I know what you mean that i just don't really understand why mm -hmm. it's like you know, people only like scary stuff during that season. Right. I don't know. And then they look at you like you're the weirdo because you like it. You like horror movies and watch them year round. Right. I don't know. That's just, I always find that peculiar. But I guess at the same time, it's just people look at other people who love Christmas. And it's like, obviously Christmas is a holiday. You watch Christmas movies around the holiday season. But it's like... Yeah. There is the whole Christmas in July, and generally, like, there are the crazy Christmas fans out there that will have, you know, things in their house or have a room completely decked out in Christmas stuff, and mm -hmm. they love the holiday. And, I mean, for me, I know you're, you're not like, I love Christmas, but, like, I do enjoy Christmas. I like Christmas a lot. Okay. I, I guess I was wrong on that. Wrong. I, because whenever you've talked about it, you're like, I like Christmas, but it's meh. It's fine. I mean, Christmas movies aren't my thing, but I like Christmas morning, and I like decorating. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. I actually do like some Christmas movies, but I think most of them are way too overly sentimental. Yeah, for that's their my own thing. Good. Cause I kind of like the cheesy ones that are just funny, but like... Yeah. The whole, like, overly sentimental thing, like you said, are just... I like the horror Christmas movies. They're mm -hmm. fun. Krampus. But it's, yeah, cr but even Krampus has, like, it's, like, well, it kind of fakes you out with its sentimentalism at the end. Yeah. But Krampus is a really fun 
you know, Christmas horror movie. And a lot of people were like, no, that's too sc spooky. You can't step on my Christmas. It's like, I was like, I, you know, there's plenty of Halloween movies that aren't scary. Yeah. So. Yep. We can, you, know, you can have a scary Christmas instead of a merry one. But, um, I don't know. I... Maybe there wasn't a point to this conversation, but I'll just say I have absolutely no issue with Halloween fandom rising. But I don't know if you think that Halloween is almost, you know, competing with the Christmas fandom. Let us know. And if you think how much you love Halloween or whatever, just let us know what you think. Um, do you have any, like, further thoughts before we move on? I mean, I'm cool with it. At first, I think I felt a little annoyed because I felt like people were fake. But then... Well, that's that's true in general. Well, yeah. But then I was like, you know what? The more the scarier. Bring it on. Anybody that wants to like Halloween can like it. Yeah, there's spread something Spread the on. Halloween cheer. Yeah, spread the Halloween cheer. And actually, I just thought of this just now, but... I mean, you don't step on my Halloween cheer. I'm not going to step on your Christmas cheer. I think a good segue into our haul would be... Uh, this is a perfect example. So I brought my sister here for the first time to check out our new home. And she was like, like, I know that like you like this kind of stuff, but like, is all of this going to be up like all the time? And we're like, yeah, we haven't even started decorating for Halloween yet. What are you talking about? Yeah, like and she was just like, hmm, okay. <laughs> so it's just like. There's certain, there's certain things. It's like, obviously like. You can't see it, but we have a Jaws poster in the corner uh -huh. here. And it's like, of course that's going to be up here around. It's like, we like horror movies. Mm -hmm. And then I have, like, above our dining room table, we have this, like, seance <laughs> yeah. poster that we got from Rest in Pieces. And, um, like, I'm not going to take that down. I think it's awesome. Yeah. It's not, ho like, to me, that's not that's Halloween That's not Halloween decor. decor. Like, we have oddities as well. It's like right. saying, like, oh, we're going to put our oddities away until next Halloween season. Yeah. It's like, why? Like, that's not directly to do with Halloween. It's like, mm -hmm. you just like oddities. There are specific things where it's like, this looks fall-themed. Right. And Halloween-type themed. So, yeah, you would put it up seasonally. And... and yeah, obviously some of our Halloween decor, like there's certain select things we're going to take away mm -hmm. and put it away for because, next Halloween. Because, like, it's very important to me that I feel like when it is Halloween, it's like extra spruced up in here. Yeah, it's special. But, like, I don't want to just leave all of that up all the time because mm -hmm. then it won't ever feel like the Halloween season to us. Yeah. There's just certain stuff that stays and certain stuff that goes away. It just I kind agree. of depends. I I'm glad we're on the same page about that. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, that's, you know, for, you put it in place of another holiday like Christmas, it's like, if you have Christmas stuff year-round, it's like, by the time it hits Christmas season, it's not going to feel as special, because you're like, yeah, I've had this up since April. Right. You know? <clears throat> My mom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, her mom still has her Christmas tree up from last Christmas. And she's like, well, I was going to decorate it for every holiday, and I'm like, mom, it has <laughs> snow on it and pine cones, because it's a fake tree, obviously. Yeah. And there's snow and glitter and pine cones on it. I'm like, how are you going to pass that for Easter and Valentine's Day and all that yeah, other I, stuff? I think by the time it hit... Excuse. Uh, I think it by the time it hit May, I had said to her, I'm like, you might as well just leave it up because it would save you a huge, you know, pain in the butt Mom, of setting it up. I know you're watching this, and I'm <laughs> sorry that I just outed you. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. She may not watch it. She definitely watches our videos. She 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 hated our videos because they weren't a minute long. Or well, at least our movie reviews. Yeah, she tried to give me a suggestion. <laughs> like, make your reviews one minute long. It's like, you you can cover the she, basic plot of a movie for a minute and, and not even give your opinion on she it. She doesn't know what YouTube is really like. Yeah, I guess. So, I think she thought YouTube was like commercials or something. Love you, Tammy. Love you, Tammy Greg. All right. Let's do our haul, babe. Okay. All right. So you can lead us off because most of this stuff on here, this is Kelly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kel this was basically all of Kelly's doing. I was probably involved. Invo Here's the thing. I was involuntarily involved, but like she always sends me like photos being like, do you like this? How does this look? 
do you think this would be good for our kitchen or you know vice uh -huh. versa he went to go pick up a prescription and he's in line waiting for his prescription and i'm like over there in the halloween you were like, like look at this calling his name from across the, the store like babe look at this do you like the purple one or the orange one yeah so believe it or not franco franco what is your deal you've been doing good yeah don't don't screw this up anyway anyway look at this. but what yeah what you're gonna say but like of all places cvs had this type yeah. of thing and you're not doing a very good job i mean in the light it might look it might not i don't know i think the lighting in this video doesn't really do it justice but yeah you can't see it yeah but it's super cool if it's like you know a potion or you know it like mm -hmm. a call out of a cauldron or whatever Super. yeah but they had this purple one or they had an orange one i don't know but the orange one was fine but the purple some about it just the color really came out when mm -hmm. you turned it on and had this weird like mist and such yeah kind of swirling in there so really nice stuff and do you want me to do one do one babe okay uh, i'm gonna start with this because i well, Babe bought this and just pretty much had me in mind mm -hmm. when buying this because I do devil horn stuff all the time. I love metal. Yeah, I'm a big, you know, heavy metal fan. So, but this is a candle holder that is the devil horns. So, there's, where did you get this? Target. Target? And I'm pretty sure it was only $8. $7 for this. Target's pretty cool. Look at that. So. I mean, if Target, you know, appeals to metal fans, I'm, um, you know, I support Target. Super duper cute. Yeah, it is cute, but it's also pretty metal. I mean, it's super metal. It's, it's not cute at all. <laughs> okay. Should I go? Yeah. Your okay. Turn. Um, I'll do these two really quickly. These are from the... It's not called the Dollar Spot. Bullseye Playground. I think that's what it's called. Um, how cool are these? Very cool. They're like little coffin shaped candles. This one smells really good and it's funeral flowers. This one smells like grandma's, but I still like it. It says- it Smells like grandma's. <laughs> yeah, um, dead grandma's. Graveyard spirits. I don't know. It just smells like an old house. I just think it's super cool. I want to recycle these once we use the candles but I told him that we can't use the candles until October. Mm, so we're waiting. Yeah we're waiting on that. Oh, 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 it smells so good. <laughs> well for the next one here I guess this is definitely up my alley because I talk about movies a lot and Babe did something awesome and bought this but it is a Halloween decoration but it's kind of too cool to want to put away but mm -hmm. I guess we will. I'm not way. sure if we will. But we'll see. We love the spooky movies. And, oops, wrong way. But, yeah, spooky movie. I love it so much. Awesome little decoration. So we have this in our basement, you know, where we do most of our entertaining. We watch most of our movies down there. But this is, I love this thing. Me too. Also from Target, $8. Yeah. Yeah, and I love the little box office thing. Oh, my gosh. I think that's perfect. So cute. So, yeah. That might be one of my favorite finds this year. Yeah, I love this thing. Anyway. To follow up with that, um, I got these little trick-or-treaters that are the same kind of idea. Um, can you hold these two? Yeah. So there's a cat, a witch, a skull, and a pumpkin, or a skeleton, and a pumpkin person. I'm so bad at this. Just, just watch yourself on the video. There you go. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They really are. So I bought them with like not really having a place to put them. Um, it also came with two pumpkins. They're super cute too. They are too. Um, but then I found a perfect way to display them was with this spooky house. Yes. This is, I'm not sure what brand this is, but I found it at Home Goods, And it has three little candles in the back so that it lights up from the front and so i had them all like lined up like they were going trick-or-treating at this house mm -hmm. and that's on our mantle 
like yeah. above our fo fire I'll, fireplace. I might cut that part into this video. Okay. So that if you want to, cool. if you want to set that up a little later, and yeah, so we can show you what we mean by that. Yeah, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. Um, next. I'll get, I'll do another thing Babe's got for me. Most of the things, I never buy things for myself. Ever. He never does. So, pretty much all the things that I have is based on people buying things for me. Pretty much. So, um, like we did a Creepy Coffee Mug Collection video. Yeah, and this is only going to add more to it, but yeah, this is a Creepy Coffee Mug. It says, um, strong enough to wake the dead, and I enjoy strong coffee you really do yeah so i don't even i don't drink black coffee but it's a lot of the people i associate with think i just drink like the strongest coffee i'm like i don't drink black coffee and a lot of people drink black coffee mm -hmm. but, but, but i love that mug um because of the little speckles on it mm -hmm. it's really cute yeah this might be one of my new favorite mugs also these are technically new that we didn't do in, right on yeah in our uh, Creepy Coffee collection video. I don't think I had them. Yeah, you didn't have them yet. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, those are also new. Um, the Trick and Treat coffee mugs. I like, them cause, I like them because they look like they were made in art class. Oh, I know. Like, this would look like a mug I would make in art class in school. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not, like, Mr. Arts and Crafts here. Like, you just, you know, music, I guess, is my thing. And I guess videos but like if you're like hey make a coffee mug of your own i'm like okay here you go <laughs> like because it's okay. i guess i guess that makes me like admire this coffee mug that much more because it's like this looks like something i would make mm -hmm. and you so. can't tell from the video but if you know anything about ray dunn her mugs are like it looks like you like have what are those things called where they're like spinning and you're like shaping. I know what you're talking about. I have no idea. It's what like called. they're so crooked and like imperfect, mm -hmm. and that's what he means. Yeah, I like it. Um, so I shared my uh, coffee mug. Oh, it's my turn. It I have a lot turn. of stuff over here. It is your turn. Yeah. So um, I think I'm going to make it a tradition to purchase one of these from Target every year. Every year. <laughs> Because last year, <laughs> yeah. if you watched our Target Halloween haul. Which I just reposted on this channel. You did. Yeah. In our Love That's Crip, Crypt. Crypt, excuse yeah. me. Um, so I accidentally bought a bird that I thought was a penguin. And <laughs> so now I'm kind of obsessed with these things. And they had a whole bunch of new ones this year. So I got this one. I guess it's dressed up to be a witch. Mm -hmm. It's not a very great witch. Unless it's... But... Yeah, at least the face kind of reminds me of Frankenstein's monster a little bit. But then but, look at its hat. Yeah, the hat and, you know, the cloak, so... Yeah, it's just... It, how darling. Mm. I love it. Mm. I'm just going to have one for every year. Every year. You could have a whole museum for them. Perfect. If you'd like. So, I'm going to do two really quick because I have so many things over here. Yeah, you do have a lot, so... Um, something else from Target. This was from Target. I think it was five dollars. Oh my gosh, does this have a name? Does it have a name? His name is Cackles. Cackles, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good pot. Thank you. Okay. And it has the year. I think they are collectibles. <gasps> that means they're gonna keep making them. So Kelly has a new hobby now. <laughs> well, she loves collecting things anyways, but she's definitely and this is definitely gonna be a yearly thing for her now. I got some black plants. I got three black plants. Look at them. How cool is that? They're all black hey, and they have like a gold rim. Hey, they're adding more to my beard right now. Oh. Yeah. Um, what is that called? Camouflage. Yeah, my facial hair looks a little strange now. <laughs> Mine too. Mm. Okay, that was dumb. That was a weird patch of hair there you got. But anyway, obviously they're fake. Mm. I just think they're super cool. Don't you? Yeah, they're as black as my soul. Black as... What's that Twin Peak line? Oh, black as midnight on a moonless, moonless night. night. Yep. I'm going to get these plants out of the way, and then it can be your turn, okay? No, oh, you're fine. Yeah, do all the plants you need. All right, then... The funny part about these is I bought all three because I didn't know which one I wanted. And then I just kept them all. So, here's the blue one. How cool. 
These sit near our sink mm -hmm. in the window. Yeah. And I like how they hang down. These were five dollars. So I really didn't need all three. But I kept them all. And then this white one. They all look good though. And they look good together. Yeah. So these were at the Target Dollar Spot. Bullseye's Playground, whatever Bullseye's you want to call Playground, it. Bullseye's Playground, yeah. Wasn't it Spooky Boutique last year? No, that's their, like, big collection in the back of the store. Okay. Yeah. That shows how much I go to Target or do any shopping at all for that matter. Yeah. I never you shop. You get a pass on that incorrect name. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to do... Do you want me to do the lights? Yes, those are from Target too, so... Most things are from Target. Yeah, a lot of stuff is from Target. But, because they have great stuff. Mm -hmm. So, so there's three neon lights that we have here. Um, I'll show, like, a segment of all three lit up in the dark. Um, but I'm just going to show it on here as well. But, you can't tell, but this bat lights up green, neon green, and then the bottom is a neon purple. And you can't really tell in the video, but you can kind of see the green, but, um, but yeah, the bat is super cool. And where's the switch? These were from um, the Target Dollar Spot, and they were $3 a piece. Mm -hmm. I was so stoked when I found them because I missed out on all the neon lights last year. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is a witch's hat. And... You gotta flip it. Oh. No wonder. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's mostly purple, a neon purple, and then it has the orange in the middle for the hat. And But I love both of these, the bat and the hat. That rhymed. But my th the third one here is my favorite, and I believe it's your favorite mm, as it well. Is. So I'm gonna show that, and of course it's a pumpkin. Of course, you know that's my favorite. Oh my I almost gosh. showed the wrong side again. It's but, so cute. But yeah, it's a neon green, and then the rest is a neon orange. Hey, I can see you. So yeah, I really love those things, and. That Kelly possible. pretty much lights them up like every night in the kitchen mm -hmm. when I guess we're just hanging say out. say we're hanging out and we're upstairs we come down to get some to drink or something and there's all these three neon lights you know hanging yeah. out so yeah they're very cute I think so too hmm what shall I do next well let me finish with the Target dollar spot there's a lot from there yeah uh, I was gonna say and. If you need me to grab anything, I can. These are felt pumpkins. Oh my god! <laughs> I got a gray one and a little black one. They're nice. Aren't they so cute? If you had to pick one, which one would you pick? I always go with black. You would pick the little black one? Mm -hmm. I like the shapes though. I do like the shapes, yeah. Oh my god, I love them. They're so cute. Let me feel them. They're so cuddly. I love you. Yeah, so you'll catch these all around our house. <laughs> all around? No, actually not all around, but these type of things everywhere in the Becca's house. I was going to eat them because I just threw them on the floor. Yeah, he thinks everything's food. Um, and then this is, I think I have two more things from the dollar spot. Okay. So this little, oh my gosh, I love this thing. <laughs> oh, because, I love this. Because, so we don't eat a lot of onions. No. <laughs> that sounds so random. Not so I person. bought this as like a fruit or like vegetable that doesn't have to be refrigerated bowl. And I had this other one that was just way too big and we barely put anything in it. So this is like perfect. It kind of blends in with the countertop. Yeah, it does. It's not super distracting, doesn't take up a lot of room, and it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Love I, it. Love it though. It's like a spider web. They have black and rose gold at Target. Oh, I didn't know it came in another color. Obviously, I got black. Yeah. And then there's one more thing from the Target dollar spot. Mm -hmm. This is going to be loud. Oh, no. I can't get it out. Do you need help? No. Yeah. I got it. Good job. This. Uh, I don't really know what to say about it. It was, um... Five dollars, and it doesn't have anything to hang pictures on the back. Like there's no, what's it called? Hardware, hanging hardware. Yeah. And it's not really like food safe. Yeah. I just thought it was cool. 
I think you could put food on it, you just can't cut on it. Or yeah, anything. you would just kind of, I mean, it doesn't really look like a serving tray, but you kind of could use it. I wish they tray. said Ouija, but I'll take it. Yeah. Spirits. Spirits and treats. Anyway, mm. I, that was five bucks, okay? Uh, that's just leave me alone. I, I am <laughs> leaving you alone. I'm just kidding. I'm just being stupid. Okay. You're not stupid. I'm the stupid you one. You haul something. Okay. Um, do you want me to do these? Sure. Okay. Target dollar spot, everybody. Target dollar spot, just like everything else in this video. <laughs> well, almost. Almost everything. But um, you can't get enough of these sayings as eat, drink, and be scary. And we just have this hanging over one of our um, cabinets. So, a little I mean, knob. Yeah. I had a koozie that said eat, drink, and be scary, but I don't know what happened to it. I guess it got lost in the move to this house. Yeah, we can only find the one that says 31 and then the pumpkin. Yeah. And then, so Kelly really loves making notes and lists. Me mostly when we go to the grocery store and stuff, but you know, if you need also, your, if you need your what? I was going to say, I also leave you love notes like every morning. Yeah, she does. It's really nice. I try to keep up with that, but Kelly's on another level with those, so <laughs> maybe I'll get there someday. But um, yeah, if you need to make your little jot down any notes, um, there's one that says, Ugh, go into focus. It says, creep it real. It has some little monsters and spooky things on the sides. Mm -hmm. And then there's another one where with a witch and her cauldron. So cute. And it's mostly blank, and then it says happy Halloween at the bottom. And they have magnets, guys. Yeah, so you can put them on your fridge. Put them on your fridge. Yep. Very functional. Sorry, I'm fooling around. Whoa. It may not be functional after doing that. It's getting a little out of control. Yeah. All right, anyway. so we're having a party. We're having a Halloween party. Mm -hmm. So we got a lot of serving tray. Are you okay? I don't know. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Look at this iridescent spiderweb platter. What? Sorry about the lights, but can you see that? You can. There's just a from the camera. There we and the go. Lighting. Yeah. Look at that. It's iridescent. Mm -hmm. It's food safe. We're gonna put some cookies on here. It's gonna be a fun time. Yeah. And this is going to really enhance our party, isn't it? It is. <laughs> a lot of stuff is. I know. I'm but so once, excited. But once everyone eats all the things I make, then you'll just still see this. You make. Yeah. You're gonna make stuff? Yeah. Oh. You know, I'm 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 quite the chef here. You are. Thanks. And then this oh. is um something my mom found actually for me. I love that. That's this really cool. This is like we're gonna use it as like a veggie tray, I think, and then we're gonna put different sauces in here. It mm -hmm. Just looks like a little bag. Yeah. Very cute. Frank, if you hear that noise, Frank is DJing in the background. This says life made. Oh, I thought it said life made Easter. It says life made easier. Oh. Let me do one more food item. Okay. This one might be one of my favorites. Oh, yes. All right, so. Frank's. Love finding things that. What? Sorry, I was going to say, Frank, stop being a DJ for a second. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Frank likes to, like, scratch things, so we always say he's a DJ. He's still going. Yeah. I like to find spooky things that aren't red, I mean, orange and black and purple sometimes. Look at this beautiful cake stand. Okay, can you just get the skull in focus? Yeah, it, it, it's got it. Holy crap! <laughs> this cake stand is probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever found in my life. She feels very strong. It was only this. $20, which is actually kind of a lot for me right now because I'm super broke. We're both super broke. It's real. It's awesome. It looks really nice. I mean, not only because if you don't look at this part, like where the skull is, it just looks like a nice serving tray. So Kelly might wear it as a hat. So anyway, where was that from? Target. Target again. I think that that's all the Target stuff. Okay. The rest of it is like um, Dollar Tree or the thrift store. Okay. So. Um, I'll go this time. Go ahead. Um, I really love this to-go mug, but I don't know where it's from because I just showed up. I just showed up home one day and I just saw this sitting there. Sometimes I just sneak things in. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, what? Is, 
all right. <laughs> but I really like the look of this and, you know, can't help but buy more coffee mugs because we have way too many. So somebody sitting in this room is really good at leaving coffee mugs in his car. So in the morning, whenever I'm looking for a coffee mug to take to work, what are you talking about? they're all gone, even yeah. though we have like 20,000. Yeah. So. But yeah, also one of the coffee mugs like actually like has it on both sides. Mm -hmm. So people can actually see the coffee mug you're drinking. Unlike, so. this is my complaint about the, our new ones that says trick and treat. Like you have, we have to hold this from the opposite end. Because oh, yeah. if you turn around, there ain't anything there. Like, this is how I would normally drink it. Yeah, like we would both normally drink things like Get this. my lipstick. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, so. But yeah. Um, you can do that other coffee mug. Okay. Yeah, so these, well, we have, we have another one, but it's kind of dirty right now, so we're not going to put it in the video. Um, thanks to me. But... Um, Marshall's has some cool bamboo, uh, coffee to go cups and awesome. Huh? They're awesome. Yeah, I they are. Them. They're, um, how many designs do they have? Cause I know you bought a lot of them. Some up there that I'm waiting to give to my coworkers. I at least see four up there plus the two that we have. Yeah. And, uh, but at least this one has like really spooky looking cats of like all sorts and i don't really even like neat. cats i'm sorry i don't either i like cats but i'm not a cat person yeah it's it's funny like how much black cats are associated like with like halloween decor and such and it's like i have like a cat head wet specimen but it, the funny thing is i'm allergic to cats mm -hmm. so it's like why do you have a cat head if you're allergic to cats but it's like well the cat is obviously dead but, I'm just itching my nose. Okay. But anyways, it's, I don't know, it's, it's funny how, like, like, cat type stuff we have, but we're not cat people. My biggest thing with cats, and then we can move on, is I just don't know how to pet them, because every time I try to pet the cats, they, like, don't like it, so. Yeah, and, I mean, obviously if I wasn't allergic to cats, like, I wouldn't have, I mean, it's not obviously a direct issue I have with cats but it's like cats are definitely more reserved than dogs are mm -hmm. and especially I grew up you know with dogs you know and I didn't have much exposure to cats so yeah anyways that's how we feel about cats I guess oh my gosh you've been talking for 45 minutes I'll go I guess yeah so really quickly from the Dollar Tree I got this really cool candle holder mm -hmm. like a tea light candle holder and then I got a matching one that has a skeleton hand on it. Mm -hmm. Super cool, huh? I think so. And then I also got this, which also holds tea light candles. Mm -hmm. How cool. How cute. Dollar Tree. Go. Wait, this is not from the Dollar Tree. I, <laughs> I didn't think it would be. This is not from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> 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 this is from Goodwill. Our Goodwill in our area is banging right now. This was two dollars. I just look at that bat. It's so happy. <laughs> and his little bud, a ghost. Looks like he really admire. I can't. Looks like he really admires the bat. Mm -hmm. Oh. um on the back of that, it's, I just caught it. It says, this is a decoration, not a child's toy. You're right. I never knew. It does say that. Um, this is probably one of my favorites. I really like this one too. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? I'm going to, I'm going to say something. Kelly doesn't actually like can the taste of candy corn. It's disgusting. But it I just love looks so cute. She likes how candy corn looks but hates the taste. I personally love the taste of I candy corn. I actually have a tattoo with candy corn. Show it off. Where is it? There it is. So it goes perfectly. Oh man, your <laughs> sleep covered it up. There it is. See it? Yeah. Candy corn. Love it. Anyway, I love this. This is definitely a Halloween decor, but it looks really cute next to these peppers in my kitchen, and I might want to keep it up all year round. You might have to fight me about that. I might, yeah. 
I, that's some to me. It's a special Halloween decoration, but we'll see. Fine, right? that's fine. Okay, we'll keep it up here. All right. Uh, what else do you have? Um, nothing too crazy special. Just a little. It's a Halloween cool photo frame. frame. Yeah. Um, I like to frame our costumes that we do every year because we kill it every year. Yeah. So. I like to have special frames, mm -hmm. and this year we are doing, have we said what we're going to do? No, we haven't. Do you want to? Yeah, we can announce it. So I'm going to do Bride of Frankenstein. And Frankenstein's a monster. And so I thought that with this, it would be really cute in there. Definitely. Yeah, it'd be perfect. Hey, these took me back, babe. Mm-hmm. I remember you telling me about this. A little stained glass. Like, do you remember these as a kid? I know you do. I do, yeah. Well, me, but if you're talking to the lovely people at home. So cute. And yeah. guess what? I have two more. Two more. I have a witch flying on the broom across the moon. Broom across the moon. And then I have this really happy pumpkin who's saying boo. So... Whoever gave these to Goodwill was really rude and didn't supply the suction cups for the window. Yeah, so we'll have to go get those. Where, who sells suction cups? Maybe Lowe's, Home Depot. So we'll have to try that. But for 99 cents, I can't really complain. Yeah, I wouldn't complain much. So. Do you want to do yours? Yeah, um, so I found out the name of the place we went to today because we didn't really know the actual name. We just knew, so there's... Um, there's a place in Frederick, Maryland called Glory Donuts, which I've only been there once, but Kelly has gone to many times. Yep. And super cool place, really good food, um, but the people who own that place had decided to open up an oddities, an antique shop. Mm -hmm. And so today, um, as you see this video, today we went to their grand opening, and it's called Alma Antiques and Oddities. Alma? Yes, A-L-M-A, -A, Antiques and Oddities. But, yeah, Alma Antiques and Oddities, and, yeah, they didn't have a sign out, so, but uh, today was the grand opening, and they had a good turnout. They really did. Yeah, so I guess word spread around a lot, mm -hmm. and they were definitely promoting it a lot on social media. Yeah. But, so, we went, we're like, we're not going to spend any money. I almost left my wallet in the car. I kind of... Actually, no. I was going to say I wish I did, but no way. Well, we got two things. So, did. yeah, I'll show, I'll share the first one here. This is what's the cheaper of the two. And this is literally just an old ass design. Why did I say old ass design? Just an old design. And I don't know. We it's both, amazing. We both saw this and was like, this is awesome. I want, we, it didn't have a price on it either. And we're like, you were like, if it's above 50, no way. But this was... I actually said 15. That's how cheap I was feeling. Oh, I thought you said 50. No. Okay. <laughs> but, so, this was kind of in between that. It yeah. Was, it was like $30, but this... I don't know what year this is from, but basically it's just like these old witches. And I'm trying to get this in, so I'm going to do this and move across. But, yeah, it's like this old design of these witches flying and like one lost her shoe i don't know if you can see that you can yeah yeah but i don't know we just saw this they had like a bunch of old prints and I'm, we saw this we're like this is amazing i'm kind of curious like what type of paper it was made on the owner of the store said that it was made with like metallic like i guess like yeah. metallic pencil or like a special type of pencil at the time yeah um, i'm not sure but but it feels really it's neat it's a great, it, like, I wish you could see it in person. And yeah. And the screen does the not do it justice. Yeah, feel the material of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't, just showing it right here, like, with the lighting and everything, it's not doing a whole lot, but yeah, it, it looks really cool. Very happy to have that. And then the second thing we got, um, it was funny because there's, let me move this first. Um, yeah, it was funny because... When I was in there, there was cool stuff, but there was nothing that, besides the print there, there was nothing that was, like, jumping out at me, like, oh, I'd really love to have that. Right. But then we, it was funny, we started, and then we moved towards the back 
of the store where like people were you know buying stuff. Are you, Sorry. Are you tired? You, I need, need, you need more coffee. Come on. Yeah, but um, it was funny. We circled back around because it was really crowded, and this like the store wasn't that big, so there's a lot in like a little bit of a you know store section. And then we made our way back towards like the entrance, and then we saw this, and it's a two-headed duckling. Oh my gosh! So, really, really awesome. It was funny. Um, the two girls that ran the store were like, um, "Did we ever come up with a name for the the duckling or ducklings?" And I don't think they did. They said that they didn't, but she was like, you need to do it something like similar, like Gary and Harry or something. Gary and Harry, but yeah, we'll we'll think of a name for them, but yeah. Aww. Yeah. The only thing is like the little placement of the footing, like it's pinned down, but... I, I think they tried to do that to make it look like it was walking. Yeah, but I wish, yeah, like the lighting Here. with the glass and such, yeah, Hold you want to lift it up? Sure. I'm shaking, this is how nervous I am Ooh. but yeah I don't know it was just so cool and don't smell it babe cuz oh my gosh it smells so bad yeah when we got home she like lifted up the glass and was like that smells horrible well I kind of sniffed it which I probably shouldn't have done but I was just a little curious you know yeah but yeah I we haven't what? Geez, things. we have so much crap on yeah, this we have table. so much stuff on this table you can't see on camera but um yeah, we haven't bought an oddity, like any oddities in a while, so yeah. it's like I forgot how delicate you need to be with them. Mm -hmm. So, um, moving on. We only have like two more things. Okay. You have those and I this. I have these, yeah. So, um, oh, look, they're like glasses. Oh my god, you're in his crotch. Hey. <laughs> so I found this. This was at the Goodwill. Uh-huh. Um. I'm having a hard time. It's getting stuck on my shirt. There we go. Okay. I was going to say he could lay across this. Ugh. There we go. Hey, Roderick. So, Brett grew up with Utel. Yeah, so I grew up with kind of like this full, like, flat type decor skeleton. And my parents had this type of decoration for such a long time, like, literally since I was born. And every year they would hang it on our front door and like sometimes they would like hang it up like in you know on the tree in the yard like it was being hanged or whatever and randomly I just decided to name the skeleton Roderick and then the other day Kelly sends me a photo of her hanging or you know holding this guy up and then she's like is this Roderick and I was like it's not the exact same you know skeleton and like whoever made it obviously but I was like it's pretty dang close to it so she brought it home, and we're naming him Roderick. Now if that's, he's ours. Now we have Roderick with us, or Roderick 2.0. Um, what a good name. It, I, what the heck was I thinking? I really like it. Uh, do you? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know. I was like, what's a silly name for this a skeleton? This like the size of a small child. It's it much is. bigger than your Roderick, isn't it? No, Roderick was basically that size, if not maybe a little bigger. Oh. Yeah. Well... I like I think it. it. I think it's a good size, though. It's pretty cool. We just need to find a way to hang him yeah. on his head. Mm -hmm. But the guy that was checking me out, like, was like, and I was like, um, no, no, no. Yeah, it's just like, do not do yeah, that. Yeah, don't do that. What's that was four ninety nine. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I will show off these, or you can hold one up. Actually, you hold you one. I hold one. Okay. So I will give you this one. Okay. Home sweet home. So, I where'd you get that from again? This is from Big Lots, y'all. Big Lots. And it was fifteen dollars. But it's an awesome pillow. It's and it, really soft. It is really soft. So we use that just as like a decoration pillow in the basement. I use it for my head. Yeah, it's it's good. This one though. Yeah, this I like one, this one a lot too. This one just stole my soul. Yeah, it's like perfect. It has the orange little. Things I up. love tassels. Yeah, on the ends, and it has, you know, like two skeletons walking their skeleton child. They're dressed know, up for Halloween. Up for they Halloween. have a dog. Yeah, where's the dog? I can't see. Other way. This way. There it is. Yeah! <laughs> there it is. How cute is that? 
Yeah. yeah, it's perfect. I love this thing. Little trick or treating family. My only complaint is this isn't really a pillow you would lay your head on. It's not really that no, soft. No, it's a decorative pillow. Yeah, it's definitely decorative because it's you feel the material inside. It feels like just a lot of not so soft stuffing. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's a so cute. it's a super cool decorative pillow. So mm -hmm. yeah, kind of glad we we have it. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's it. Is that it? Oh, I actually have one more thing. I don't know if you care about it. No, let's... Yeah. One more thing? Yeah, one more thing. One more thing. One, one more thing. thing. Okay. Go for it. Help me. Okay. Hold me. Kelly's got to reach. This is what we do when, when my charger falls at night time. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. Believe it or not, this is only one thing. But there's a lot of things. There's a lot of I don't it. think you've even seen this, have you? No. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> this is a surprise. <laughs> Exclusively here, you can see Brett's reaction to something he didn't realize so, Kelly bought. So I got these for um, out front because I really wanted to get a plant and put these in the plant. Yeah. Um, where am I? There I am. I got my eye on you. And these are solar lights. How cool is that? That's awesome. So they go in the soil. No and way. Yeah, babe. That's awesome. And then the sun charges them up, and at night they shine. That's sweet. So these ones were my favorite. This is what I was scoping out, and mm -hmm. they had them. That's awesome. And then you got eyeball ones. These are for plants that I would like to make a spooky plant, and then these are for lighting our pathway. Mm -hmm. So I have like a good number of the witches. Yeah, but I do see another one in there. Grab the pumpkin. Okay. I also got the ghosts, just because I wanted the ghosts. I only got one. And then I got the pumpkin! Yeah. It's pretty cool. So cute. There he is. So that's it. Yeah. That's so, all. Wow. I didn't know you got Surprise! these. Surprise! <laughs> I had no idea you got these. But uh, we're, they sh should be also maracas. So I would like your help putting those up. Yeah, I'll definitely help you out with that. I hope they work, because they're from the Dollar Tree, so. Yeah, I'm, I mean, if it's solar, yeah, like, that would be awesome, you know, they it charge says that during the day. When it's 98 degrees out, not the band, but. 98 degrees. So it says, powerful solar panel recharges the battery during the day. Light lasts up to eight hours. Cool. Yeah. So, I'm going to hold you to that. Yeah, let's, uh. Let's uh, find out. These we'll give you a, we'll give you a review after we set it up. These are my favorite. I like the witches ones. That's awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this really long haul. Yeah, this was really long. <laughs> my name is Brett. I'm Kelly. Together, we are the Love Bats and the Belfry. We hope you enjoyed our Halloween haul and mini little discussion about Halloween fandom. And if you enjoyed the video, please give us a like like the video give us a thumbs up Ooh. that is a huge help to us because that actually is showing us that hey people kind of like our videos mm -hmm. that's great yeah and um let us know what we should do a creepy coffee and conversation episode next on the sun's going down so it is getting late um but yeah let us know what you think and uh we hope you come back for a future video with us in the comments below give us some ideas about what to call our duckies perfect please yes let us know and yep, we will see you in a, a future video please subscribe bye, bye everyone <laughs>